So an example when it says, what is the amount of time required for a 550 gram sample of AU198 to decay to leave only 34.375 grams unchanged? So we had to set up a mass time fraction chart in step one, and we also had to label the answer column, which is what, the quant what quantity the question asked for, and the change column, which is what quantity changes. So the quantity that the question asked for is the amount of time, so therefore, since that's what's in the answer, that's what we label the answer column. All right? Then um, what we label the change column is the quantity that changes. Obviously, 550 grams is becoming 34.375. So we label the mass, which is in grams, the change columns, and sets the quantity that changes. Okay? So now we finish step one. In step two, we now have to um, put the following information in the first row. Um, Right at the beginning, before any decay happens in half-life, we had to put the time as zero since no time has passed. The fraction is one since nothing has decayed, so you have 100% of the sample. And the mass is the original mass, which according to the problem is 550 grams, okay? Now in step three, now that we've finished step two, we had to um, go through multiple half-lives. For each half-life, we have to have the mass and fraction here and increase the time by the half-life until I reach the desired change. So the half-life for um, AU190, if you look it up on table N, is 2.695 days for AU198. So I'm just gonna label that right here, okay? Now, let's go through um, each half-life. So in the first half-life, we passed 2.695 days since that's the amount of time um, required for one half-life. And we have to have the fraction and the mass. So if I have the fraction, I get one half. If I have the mass, I get 275 grams, okay? But we're not up to what we want yet. We want 34.375 grams, so we have to keep going. If we pass another half-life, we, for the time, add yet another uh, 2.695 days since that's the time required for um, an additional half-life. So if I add another 2.695 days for an original half, for an additional half-life, sorry, I get two times 2.695 days since now two half-lives have passed. The fraction and the mass yet again I have to have, so I do uh, half of half, which is one fourth, and half of 275, which is 137.5. And notice here, yet again, I am not at my mass of 34.375 grams yet, so I have to keep going. So if I go again, um, and I pass another half-life, I have to add another 2.695 days since yet another half-life has passed, giving me three times 2.695 days. I have to again uh, have the fraction since yet another half-life has passed, giving me one-eighth, and I have to have the mass again, giving me, since another half-life has passed, giving me 68.75 grams, okay? I'm still not at my um, desired mass yet, so I have to go through another half-life so that I can reach that desired mass, right? For the change. So if I let another half-life pass, I, yet, I let yet another um, 2.695 days pass, which means four times 2.695 days now, since now four half-lives have passed. I have the fraction again, giving me 1 16th, and I also have to have the mass again, giving me 34.375. Notice here that this 34.375 grams is my desired mass, according to the problem. So now what I can do is I can find the amount of time required for the mass by looking in the same row. The time in the answer column required for um, me to get down to this 34.375 grams, as you can see, here, is four times 2.695 days. If you do that and do the math, you'll see that the time required for this is 10.78 days, okay? So that's it.